Hello coders, we have a string problem today. Backspace string compare. Also, you are not seeing my face because I'm doing face reveal at 100,000 subscribers. So if you want to see and reveal who I am, then subscribe to the channel, please. And you can also see here something maybe exciting. There is only 14 minutes left until the end of a problem. Maybe in the next days I will do something like that. I will start like five minutes before the end to increase the stakes. Normally I'm doing a problem like a day before. I have 24 hours for that, but maybe having just five minutes would be more exciting. Uh, but I'm afraid that, uh, for example, lead code might go down in the last minutes and that would be bad. So today I have 15 minutes for a problem. Backspace string compare. Uh, well, for sure we will remove some characters, but I don't know what exactly uh, the problem is about. Given to strings, return if they are called when both are typed into empty text editors. Hash means backspace character. Can you solve it in off one and time and off one space? I don't know how to do this. Because without off one space, I can simulate the thing for both. Huh. I'm thinking about off one space. In the meantime, I can type function string uh, remove, like get rid of backspaces string s2 for every character in s if it's a if it represents a backspace then if s2 is not empty remove the last character otherwise nothing happens else s2 append character ch to return s2 so one solution is return remove of s is equal remove of t but I'm not satisfied with this. I want to try off one space. This is obviously, I create a new string. Maybe what they mean is that I can modify the input strings. Off one space isn't that specific. Maybe they are okay with me modifying string S and string T, then I can do it. The fact that I'm given those, not by reference, but by values, suggests that as well. Can I do it without modifying the input though? In know, often time. I can do hashing. No, I can't. Because I don't know what backspace removes. I, I will choose the middle ground. I see how to do it with modifying the input. Let me change my function this time. I don't want to copy paste the code here twice. This, this is why I have a function, generally a good practice. So let me pass it by reference. I will not create a new string. I will say remove of s. It will modify s. This will modify t and return s is equal to t. This will for sure use pointers. Let's say length is zero for every character in S. I'm not sure if iterating for characters like that if I keep modifying a string. So let's do it with 
with um, index i up to length this is related to one of problems from first week where we needed to oh move zeros yes in move zeros we needed to do something similar so watch that video to understand better what i'm doing if s of i is equal hash a backspace then we need to say len minus minus len is how many first characters of s really matter actually len if len is greater than zero then do that otherwise len stays to be zero else s of len becomes this character and len plus plus of course i could put len plus plus already here but i want to make code easier to read and this goes this gets removed uh, five minutes if i gave myself five minutes then i wouldn't achieve that <laughs> wrong comment obviously false Sure, I ignore length as resize length. I need to get rid of things from the end. Oh, but maybe this does something with memory. I'm not sure. Let's do it this way. For everything from LAN to the end, let's mark it as a not existing character. And I think hash will do a job. Does it make sense? Yeah. I don't know if I should stop the timer every time. Uh, that's bad. Expected to start again. I made a mistake. This this represents removing characters from the end. And if I get at the end ABC hash. A, a b c hash hash now this hash hash that i uh, i use it just denotes a not existing character i should say that those two strings are equal because it's just that really i found characters a b c and then everything later is removed this is not anymore a backspace i need to do this myself uh, max of s length t length i will talk like after coding more about about the correctness here what i'm doing i will analyze ex example maybe including this one because i see what happened if i is different than just one let's do this or if a is greater or equal than s length, a is greater or equal t length, so one string is already over. I want to ask about the other one. Uh, that's so I'm going to make. Okay, I, I can finish this, but it's a bad idea. I should have just chose length as well. So I'm removing this. This could be finished. I need to just then compare like two strings like that. But I figure out that it's complicated to do. Instead, len s is zero, len t is zero. Return len s is equal len t. And well, if len s is not len t, to false. Now they are equal. Compare first characters. This might make the most interesting video so far. Uh, what's wrong? Linus. 
and I wonder if it's possible to do in all of time of one space without modifying the two input strings. That's often unspecified in in coding interview problems, also in platforms like Lead Codes. Can I modify the input or not? Uh, I I will Google, I think, in a moment this problem and its editorial. Oh, th also, there's uh, you will see it here. There was only four minutes left till the end of the contest. Uh, so my video on YouTube will be late, half an hour, because I need to edit this as well. But uh, later in the comments, you can see information whether this can be done without modifying those two strings. But let me quickly analyze what happens on the two examples. One is that ABCD hash, this is the one input, ABCDE hash hash. Let's say it's this. Then I transform this string, this string S, uh, this hash will remove a D. So I will say, after ABC I'm saying this is the real string, len is equal to 3. Then len is equal to 4 for a moment, ABCD is a real string, but there is hash, so it removes D. ABC keeps real string and I check, I wanted to change everything to the end to hashes. Similarly here it would do this, and I later needed to compare those two strings to say they are equal. I needed to iterate with I up to minimum of length, length 1, length 2, to say those characters must be exactly equal, must be equal, s of i is equal to t of i, and also for i greater or equal than this minimum length till the end, so from this moment to the end, uh, those must be hashes. So longer string of i must be equal hash. That was first idea. Uh, yeah, and uh, th this is really, really similar to move zeros. Exactly the same thing happens there to save the space. I use the same trick. So this is a lesson. Solve problems so that you would know more techniques and uh, be able to apply them in other problems as well. Uh, yeah, la later I decided that when I... I don't really change those characters at the end, so this could be maybe stayed like that, but I keep length, I also modify length, and I know that, and for this string, this is new state of string s, but I also know len of s is equal to 3, so I know that I only need to compare first len of s characters, and if lengths are not equal, then return false. That's it for today, subscribe 400,000 subscribers face reveal, to know my identity and so on. It's uh, Is it true that you see here my face in top right? Maybe, maybe. But subscribe uh, and leave a like. See you tomorrow. Bye.